History celebrates the Buffalo Soldiers and the Tuskegee Airmen, but tonight another group of African American servicemen is being recognized. The Montford Point Marines broke the color barrier in the Corps. Tenier Side's Art Khan tells us how they are being honored. Art? Well, Nicole, most Americans have never heard of Montford Point. Thousands of black Marines trained there during World War II after the Marine Corps was desegregated. 63 years after the camp closed, 368 surviving Montford Point Marines have been awarded the nation's highest civilian honor. Four of them received their medals in Chesapeake today. The highest civilian honor paid for their dedication and sacrifice as members of the few the proud, the Marines. The Montford Point Marines aren't more than veterans. They are pioneers. Pioneers for equality. Pioneers for commitment. Pioneers for service. Pioneer for progression. Pioneer for challenge. And it was a challenge, serving in a military that lived by the creed, separate but equal. The United States Marine Corps and the United States of America in 1942. A lot different than it was today. You know that. Jim Crow wasn't a name, Jim Crow was a bad practice. Separate meant not equal, even though separate was equal. These men met hostilities, discrimination, racial adversity, and despondency in a country and in a time. These men had to fight for the right to fight. A single gold medal of appropriate design. Their fight for equality and for the security of our nation was finally recognized as they were awarded replicas of the Congressional Gold Medal. Mr. Nathaniel E. Harris, Staff Sergeant, Portsmouth, Virginia. Lieutenant General John Paxton, Jr., the commander of the United States Marine Corps Forces Command, awarded the medals, but his words may have spoken even louder than his actions. If I do anything today, I want to assure you that you're not a footnote in history, and today isn't just a single day. We salute you because you embody being always faithful, Semper Fidelis. Thank you for coming and spending your time to show us uh, some type of recognition, which was something that was definitely needed a long time ago. It should have been done, I'd say, 70 years ago. But so many men who would have deserved this recognition of past and gone. The medals received by the surviving Montford Point Marines are replicas because, as is customary, just one medal is forged by the U.S. Mint when a group is honored. That medal will remain at the Mint until its final resting place is determined. Archon, 10 on your side. Montford Point was located at Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. Nearby Camp Johnson is home to a national exhibit honoring the Montford Point Marines.